neighborhood community shout out. We're back on our regular set here. Yep. We're back with the gathering, at least until we have to pack them away. Yep. But we got a few shout outs to do, so let's jump right in and get started. Let's. Let's. Sierra Ferguson's Life. She's been a subscriber, subscriber of ours for some time now, but she's starting a channel. Ooh. So welcome to the neighborhood with your new channel. And everybody go by and check her out. That's Sierra Ferguson's Life. Meet Finnegan. That channel has been, well, those people have been around for some time. And they are starting a new channel called Meet Finnegan. That is Big D Jr. So any of you guys that know Big D Jr., go by and check out Meet Finnegan. And give, give them some love and show them some support. So welcome to the neighborhood under your new channel, guys. Prospect 4186, welcome to the neighborhood. They also have a channel. Go by and check them out. Alabama Princess, welcome to the neighborhood. Fable, welcome to the neighborhood. They also have a channel. Go by and check them out. Fiorella Nunez Baez. Yeah, what he said. Welcome to the neighborhood. You're not even going to try it, are you? Nope. Welcome to the neighborhood. Roki Monkey, welcome to the neighborhood. And they have a channel, so go by and check them out. And this person, I think I called them Tea Storms last week, and it's supposed to be Tea Vlogs. So I'm correcting myself now. Tea Vlogs, welcome to the neighborhood. They have a channel. Let's go by and check them out. And Gothman the Soul Keeper changed his name to The Phantom. So welcome to the neighborhood under your new channel. Let's start with, uh, let's go with some birthdays. I did make a few mistakes last week, so I'm going to correct those as well as announce some other birthdays. Sierra Ferguson's birthday. Happy belated birthday. It was December 22nd. Um, Chanel Lenardis birthday. Happy belated birthday to you. It was November 23rd. And I had given you guys the wrong date on that. So happy belated birthday to you on that. Um, and now the rest are either just, they, they're all in January. Kaya Stoll, happy birthday on January 17th. Tanya Longley, happy birthday on January 12th. My Uploaded Life, Shauna, happy birthday for the 19th, which is tomorrow. And The Abyss, happy birthday to you on the 30th. You will be 29 years old. Okay, we got some congratulations to do. Um, congratulations to Destiny Swan. Her husband, Kelso, is finally coming home tomorrow, Yay! Thursday, after I'm not even sure how long, but she's been waiting and waiting, and they say, yes, he's coming, no, he's not. Yes, he is, no, he's not. Yes, he is. Well, he is coming home tomorrow, so congratulations, Destiny we're so very happy to hear that. And Kelso, it'll be great to get to meet you over the internet. Congratulations to Erica Templeton. She is nine weeks pregnant and will find out the gender at 20 weeks and will let us all know. Can't wait to find that out. Congratulations to Amy at Water's Wife on finding out that they are expecting a child. So congratulations, Amy. And our thoughts and prayers will be with you in hopes that this pregnancy goes smoothly. I wanted to uh, give a shout out to someone very special, Tiger TB65. I've mentioned him before. I would love it if you could all go and check out his channel. I was in two of his music videos. I was in one. Kevin and I were in one together. So um, the one I was in was Go Little Reindeer Go, and the one we were in together is When Do You Know. So if you guys could go and check out those two videos, and also check out his other videos. He's an amazing singer-songwriter, and uh, he doesn't get enough credit. So go by and check that out. 
Okay, we got some thoughts and prayers. Uh, being Lucy Owl, um, Michelle, her uncle, her great uncle had a stroke and a heart attack on January 15th. As of right now, he is doing okay. Um, he's not doing great, but he is doing okay. So if you could keep him and their family in your thoughts and prayers. Um, it's been a while, but we got an update from Tanya Ray on her stepdad. He is still in a lot of pain and is still in the hospital. We also have some information on Tanya Ray. She is going into the hospital on the 18th to remove a large tumor on her uterus and will be in the hospital for two days. So if we can keep her stepdad and Tanya Ray in our thoughts and prayers, I would greatly appreciate that. Kyle Muhlenbein, he cannot catch a break. He just got over an upper respiratory infection and now he's got the flu. I think that guy needs to be in a plastic bubble more so than I do. And then April from One Proud Mama. Her cousin was at a concert in Texas and he went to get a drink and after a while he didn't come back. So his wife sent a friend to check on them while she stayed and kept their spot. When the friend found him, their paramedics were working on him. Um, they never did get his heartbeat back working, and either at the concert or at the hospital. So unfortunately, they had to pronounce him at the hospital shortly after they got him there. And the family is majorly devastated and in shock. In about a week or so, they're going to release his body um, to bring him back to Indiana after they do an autopsy on him to find out exactly what was the cause of his death. So, they'll know more at that point. So, if you guys can keep April, One Proud Mama, and their entire family in your thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. Um, many of you know that this weekend is the memorial for Elijah Mainville, Drax Shadow. Um, it is going to be live streamed, so uh, please keep an eye out on your YouTube channels for that and follow along if you wish to. And to our questions from last week was, what were you into as a child? I was into gymnastics. I didn't take gymnastic classes, but I was always doing gymnastics in the basement of our house. We had a old mattress that we set up that I, my parents were going to throw out, and I said, no, let me play with it, let me play with it. So I set it up on the floor, and I started doing flips and, and handsprings and stuff like that right onto the mattress and everything. And So I was into gymnastics a lot. Um, Terry Johnson, she was into Barbie dolls, and she still collects them. Tanya Longley, she was into trouble. <laughs> no, she was just kidding about that. Um, she was into reading. She liked to read a lot. As I remember growing up with her, and she always had books. Always. The Abyss was into wrestling, and still is. Jerry Colburn was into video games, and still is. Susie here was into music and she plays all types of instruments to this day so it stuck with her so congratulations to all of you for for being into something that you were into as a child and still sticking with it I on the other hand can't do a flip or a split or a back bend or anything anymore <laughs> at least on purpose <laughs> exactly at least on purpose Okay, and my question for this week is, if you could live in any period of history, when would it be and why? Oh. There you have it, guys. It is time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Take it away, Kevin. Here, you take this. This? Yep. This is called Angel. Okay. Okay, so last week's uh, question was about a guy named Alan Smithy, and he had he has like 86 uh, directorial um, uh, a a 
attributions and also as an actor and all kinds of things. Uh, who is this guy? And the answer is, he is nobody. And so anytime a director or an actor or a stuntman does not want to be affiliated with a movie, they will use that name. Now, it, uh, supposedly it started in 68, although I've seen it going back to 55, and it was supposed to have been officially stopped in the year 2000, but it's still being used. So, you know, a, a lot of times people would direct a movie and then they don't like the product, or a lot of times the uh, uh, studio would just hack it up and they just walk away from it, so I don't want to have anything to do with it. So this Alan Smithy person is pretty popular. Very popular. Uh, although if you go on IMDb, 90% of them you'll actually can see who actually was the director. It's, it's just there. I would say just a way of saying uh, I washed my hands of this production. So, and it's hard to do that when you're an actor. I do that when you're an actor because you're all over. It. <laughs> well, so those who got that correct was Tanya Longley and Terry Johnson. Congratulations! And tonight's question uh, is about a movie we just watched. It's called It's It Follows. It's from 2014. I think they just released it onto uh, Netflix. So I uh, we watched that one. And the question is, what is the significance of water in this movie? Good question. Would you like to take Angel back? I will take Beast back. The Beast. Yes. The Beast. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you, and we'd like to welcome all of our new subscribers, whether you've commented or not. We love you all so very, very much. Thank you all for subscribing. And I'm lost again. <laughs> Need help? Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay. So, try that again. Let, let's try that again. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up, and we will see you all next week on another episode of Paper's Community Shoutouts. <laughs> Ta-ta for now, guys. Bye. Boy.